Hello everyone, welcome to Across TV. Joining me now is Moritz Lück, he's the head of marketing and PR of MEC Metro ECE Center Management. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for the invitation, nice to be here. Which uh, trends do you see for the management of retail companies and parks and hybrid malls? Well, what we see is, first of all, that there's a very high interest of um, institutional foreign investors for um, retail parks and hybrid malls. And we see a clear demand for a very professional management of those um, institutions. So what they need is not just a property management, but leasing management, center management, and also um, project development, integrated services, which can also serve all the communicational and reporting needs of institutional international organizations. From where are the foreign uh, investors coming? Um, we have quite a lot of them coming from the city of London, so it's a lot of Anglo-Saxon, but I would also guess um, Asian capital coming into the market because of the good um, uh, relation between risks and um, yield you can get. Which are the key topics for retail parks and hybrid malls? First of all, there's quite a big demand for refurbishing the um, hybrid malls and retail parks because most of them were built in the 90s, so they have now 20 years and more of age, so they need to be um, refurbished. Um, spaces have to get more flexible in order to meet the um, new demands of retailers for bigger or smaller spaces. You have also to um, adjust towards um, customers' expectations like um, the atmosphere of a center and the facilities, so it has to be a modern ar architecture as well. So the customer expect new, new malls and maybe internet and things like that? It is that, but also a lot of demand from tenants because retail parks still offer for many retailers space for growth and for expansion, but we have to meet their um, expectations as well. So we see, for example, many more fashion retailers coming into hybrid malls and retail parks than we did, say, let's say, 10 years ago, um, but their demands have to be met in order to meet um, the customers' demands. Which major consumer trends will be relevant for the sector in the future? It's still about convenience, so the convenient basis of um, being um, accessibly in a very easy way with the car and um, doing things just on a flat terrain with no stairs, that remains, but you have to build on that, so um, have more different stores, have uh, bigger changes, um, also within the tenant mix, if, if necessary, adjust branch and industry mix. These are very key topics, and also add conven convenient services like um, wireless LAN and um, better facilities so that people can sit in the mall, better gastronomy, etc. Just make it a very nice experience still forward. Do you have any example where it works very well? Um, we have several hybrid malls, for example in Baden-Baden, Shopping City, that works very well. We have refurbished recently Ostsee Park in Rostock, um, where we added a big fashion mall which um, is met by a good customer demand and um, that's where we can see where the trend is going to. Moritz Lück, thank you so much for the interview, appreciate your time and thank you for watching Across TV, see you next time.